First of all, yes, I have moved to a new room, but more importantly, I got a new amp and it doesn't really get much better than this because it's a replica of Blackmore's Marshall Major that he had himself custom built in the Marshall factory sometime in 1970. So this is an ultra linear amp with KT88 tubes, no master volume and with cascaded channels. I don't really understand the technical specifics, but basically it means that the, the two channels, the two volumes are working together to give you the signature driven bass tone that Blackmore had throughout the Machine Head Mark II, the Purple Era. The best thing about the amp that it has been hand wired by my friend Max, who everyone knows as the king of Blackmore tone in YouTube land. So Max, thank you once again for, for all your help, the amp and the treble booster, because yes, I have a new treble booster too, because you have to have a treble booster to get some of the Mark II the Purple sounds. You already heard the amp and the treble booster in the intro. Now let's hear just the amp with no treble booster in the signal chain. another example where the travel booster is in the circuit but it's not turned on. This is important because it is not a true bypass pedal thus it affects the sound even when it's not turned on. It's enough you know, for it to be just plugged in and this is supposedly how Blackmore got his made in Japan style tone so let's check it out. <laughs> There's at least one more crucial element in the sound and that is the speaker. You simply got to have the right speaker to sound like Blackmore and take your amp and treble booster to the finish line. Blackmore uh, in the middle of the 70s used the Pulsonic Pre-Rolla Greenbacks. They were manufactured from the middle or end of the 60s up until 1974. And since then, all of the selection greenbacks and reissues and heritage series are, are different. They don't sound like the original Pulsonics. Fortunately, you can still get the original Pulsonics on reverb, but they are very expensive. So I settled with this comeback H55 and H55 PVC, which should be probably the best 
uh, and most authentic reproduction of the Polsonic speakers, but there's a tangible difference between the two. Max has the original Polsonics, and uh, as we compare them, the H55 is, is pretty alright, but, but a long way from the original. So that's uh, something I'm planning to get in the future, but as the time being, I'm having uh, Scumbag H55s and H55 PVCs. Uh, you can't see in the frame, but I have a 2x12 cabinet and I have an isolation cabinet made by Jet City. The 2x12 is made by Sarmesh. So this isolation cabinet is like uh, a box, a soundproof box with, uh, with one speaker in it. And I will demonstrate the difference between the two in, in a separate video. I almost forgot to tell you about the aux box. Which is, uh, which is an attenuator, a reactive load box, and a speaker simulator. In this video, I'm only using it to attenuate the amplifier because even though it is a scaled down version of the original Marshall Major, which were supposed to be 200 plus watts, uh, so this is scaled down to around like 70 or 80 watts, it is still very, very loud. So I just have to have an attenuator to tame the volume a bit. Uh, I'm gonna make another video with the attenuator because it does have a speaker simulator and I was hoping that it would work but it doesn't really oh spoiler alert anyway uh, from now on I will use this amp in all of my upcoming videos I added all the video samples I had time to record to this video and uh, if you're interested in more just go hit up Max's channel he has awesome videos sounding way better than me and of course, if you are interested in getting an amp like this, don't be shy, just talk to Max. I think he would be happy to, to help you. And uh, I think all it remains after this very, very long video is to just thank you for watching and here's a bonus sound clip. Mm -hmm.